eyes. Glenn. PB. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Uh, for two points, I nominate Hot Dogs this week. Um, he is a good bloke, and I'll, I'll get along with him, but um, his true colours started coming out on um, Friday night, I think, at the, um, at the challenge, and he sort of showed to me and everyone else that he's a, he's a bit of a bad sport and a very jealous sort of person, and it made me feel... Um, Made me feel a bit uncomfortable in that. How is hot dogs a bad sport? Um, when he didn't win, he started getting um, started getting very rude, and everyone was in a good atmosphere and having good fun, and he was real shitty. And a few blokes said something to him, and he said like, a few dirty things back. Mickey had won something, and he said, "Oh, you just like me or something." And hot dog said, "I wouldn't want to be like you." How did it affect you? It made me feel a little bit angry. It made me feel a little bit scared. I didn't want to get on his wrong side. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Um, I nominate Geneva for one point again. She comes in and just starts like, screaming, like, swearing and screaming. I'm nominating her because I don't like the way she does it. She just comes in, she starts screaming and yelling, and I don't think it's necessary in the house and um, gets me angry and frustrated. Last night, for example, um, I don't know, I think hot dogs or something, someone did something to her and she came in and she said, uh, hot dogs, shits me and just screaming and stuff. Glenn. Yep. The next time you come to the diary room for nominations. Yep. You'll be prepared and well thought out. You also won't swear. Yep. <laughs> That's a bit harsh. Big Brother asks for examples. He gives examples of other people's behaviour and gets in trouble. Shall I have a word with Big Brother about that? OK, we've seen three nominations, a total of nine darts flying. So let's see who's been struck so far. So there we are, Gianna, Michael and Hot Dogs roaring away with two points apiece and Tim, Dean and Geneva off the mark with one each. Well, very interesting, but we still have eight housemates to nominate, plus a rendezvous with Angela and a catch-up with Constance. Spit at me because I was brushing it. Shortly we'll be catching up with Angela and sharing the latest dramatic day in the life of Constance. But right now it's time to hear Tim's nominations. And you know what? He is still smarting over the fact that he was nominated last week. We've got cameras in our face the whole time. And on top of that, every week we have to make decisions about who's going to stay in the house and not. And that, that is a re recipe for division and nastiness. Maybe they thought you were a threat. It's possible. Or maybe they thought that you were going under the radar. Well, I think that's probably the most logical thing. If I seek to embarrass you or vice versa in front of the group, all that's going to happen is we're going to end up having a <laughs> verbal stoush. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to do that. Mainly because I know that you're someone who has dignity, and so am I. Tim. Big brother. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction, and why? For two points for eviction, I nominate Geneva. Um, I find Geneva lots of fun at times and I do enjoy her company, but 
At other times, I find her very uh, immature, um, moody, uh, rude. Uh, she's also, on a, on a more personal level, made a couple of comments about my body shape and body type. I don't think that's appropriate. And though it doesn't really hurt me, I don't think that people should be doing that. I certainly, certainly would not be doing that to anyone else. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Uh, for one point for eviction, I nominate Dean. Um, I still have memories of um, the first week when about four or five people um, formed a bit of a little, little bit of a group and were teasing other people, bullying other people, and were very rude. I think that Dean has a little bit of a nasty streak, and though he can be lots of fun, um, I think he can be um, quite mean and cold-hearted. Um, and uh, it's for those reasons that I nominate him for um, eviction for one point. Oh, so there's a bit of a war between Dean and Tim, don't you think? Yes, we do. Well, now it's time to hear the nominations, yes, from the woman who is the apple of Tim's eye, we believe. She is the jewel in his crown, the sultana in his muffin, the light of his big brother experience. Yes, it's Kate. So let's see if Kate nominates Tim. Um, housekeeper. Oh, let's eat, Glenn, you're screwed! Oi! What? Get in here! No, because if you made your beds, then I wouldn't have to make them, so wait! I've got a really bad feeling I'm going. Who are you predicting? Geneva. Uh, and your team. It is a serious breach of the Big Brother rules to predict who you think will be evicted. <laughs> Big Brother is awarding you both a strike. Are you serious? Very serious. Kate. Yes. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? I nominate for two points for eviction Gianna. Um, the reasons why... I feel that she can be very, very selfish and very um, all about her and an example of this was we were sitting at the dinner table last night and there were four people that were extremely nervous and extremely on edge and everything because of what was about to happen and she sat there and not even thinking about them at all and said it's going to be so hard for me on Monday, you know, I've been put in such a hard position and sort of like a big poor me kind of thing. And I, th I think I was stunned. I sat there and just was like, you've got to be kidding. How does that affect you, Kate? Because it's always all about her. I don't feel that she really has much time for many other people apart from herself. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? For one point, um, I'm going to nominate Geneva. And the reason that I'm going to nominate Geneva for one point is that still, time and time again, whenever anything is said, she just blurts something out and it'll be nasty. And then if I look at her, she'll go, Katie, I was just joking. But at the same time, what she says was so spiteful and so hurtful that even though the just jokes follows afterwards, it still stings. Well, there you go. Is Kate voting tactically? Does she prefer the company of boys? Or is she a straight shooter who calls it the way she sees it? Or well, someone else who falls into that category may be hot dogs. Although Angela suggested last night that he might be the biggest game player of them all. Hot dogs. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Uh, I nominate Michael for two points this week. Um, the reasons being, I find him to be uh, very overbearing, um, dominant in terms of he really likes to express his will onto what people can and can't do. I've never been one who likes being told what I can and can't do. Um, examples being 
you know, like for food restrictions, um, you know, how much butter we can use, how much bread.